I can name a million things I'm not. The only thing I am is real. The smoking on that real kill, breaking. So they're comparing a streamer to a nine to five, huh? Unless you're living Talk to me, Ken. We have to tell you. Sure we've all seen the Hassan situation by now. If you're unfamiliar, well, basically the streamer Hassan Abi said that streaming was more draining than a nine to five. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Cam speak his points first. I'm gonna a let Cam speak his points. Make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul. Cause I don't out per se you know agree, I mean? but I don't disagree. Nine hours if that makes sense. Absolutely will. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same way as someone who did a sales job a real job okay i'm telling you as someone who did, did both like nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios after nine hours of that i could probably do physical labor it would not bother me but i can't do more social sh that's my point point. and after that clip basically mm. the debate on if streaming is harder than a nine to five spread the internet like wildfire every news page was talking about it people made videos about it it was a hot yeah, topic for that. a few days i've never seen the actual clip i, don't I just heard the, streaming the is harder headline than a nine to five because a nine to five is physically and mentally draining while streaming is only mentally draining oh my god oh my <laughs> says that a nine to five doesn't suck the soul out of you because they actually do i'm pretty sure we've hold on, hold a on. job before that sucked the absolute call me positive crew it's, it's hot as fuck in this room per usual bro you know what it probably is chat it's my socks we gotta release the dogs somebody smell like shit gotta release the dogs man life out of us like it's pretty common but i do feel like there is merit to what hassan is saying like the way i see it is that like just because a nine to five is hard that doesn't mean that streaming is easy i feel like a lot of people underestimate the amount of work that streamers actually have to do because of how lazy streaming looks I all right let me let me break it down let's let's break it down because my parents had the same conversation with me about this because they always thought my shit was lazy it's really anybody can really hop on stream hop on obs stream labs they can hop on and just press start streaming. They can easily do that. That's the easy part, right? But the hard part really comes in where you have to start marketing yourself. That's the hard part because, for one, you don't want to hire an editor because the editor is not going to have the exact style that you want. That's unless you have it like that. If you have it like that, okay, cool. You got an editor and all that. Maybe it's less just for you. But let's say you're doing everything yourself. You're editing. You're making the thumbnails. You're actually going out and posting yourself. You got to find what connects, what doesn't. You're really doing everything yourself when you're starting out as a streamer. You know what I'm saying? So that part really gets hard. But once you start building a team with your community, you know, it gets easy. You know what I'm saying? When you look at a streamer, like, I mean, they're sitting in a chair, playing a game or reacting to videos and people do that for free. So when you see somebody doing it for numerous hours each day and they're making money from it, it's like, oh, I could most likely do that. I mean, exactly. it's pretty easy. I, I do that for free. So why not do it for some bread? But if I'm being honest, I personally don't think that streaming is easy at all like i saw a lot of people trying to write this off as like anyone could stream but not anyone could work a nine to five which i completely disagree with but, but the only stream here's here's my point though here's my thing though right i feel like cam's gonna get into this later on down the video whenever you like perform as if streaming is a nine to five the results actually show you know what i'm saying that's just facts now nine to fives don't hit on shit anymore man it's kind of like the way i see soccer anybody could play soccer but not everyone can be good at soccer anyone can stream but not everyone can be a full-time streamer like i don't think people realize how hard it is to get to that point where you're a full-time streamer on twitch it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of strategy because twitch has one of the worst algorithms of all time because they don't push you in any way shape or form you have to bring people to your stream you can't just sit there playing a game all day and expect rate your banana pudding by looks let's look at this chat okay all right, Ophiel, you might be you might be a chef, but off of looks though, you don't gotta do all the crumble crumble shit. You don't have to do all that. That's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? It's not really unnecessary, but I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it when they do all that because then it's just OD. I don't want all that, bro. I like it to be smooth with the wafer and the actual pudding. I don't want all the crumble crumble shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's still cool though. If I had to rate it one through ten, I'll give you a solid. I'll give it an 8.5 off of looks. I'll give it an 8.5. It's literally impossible to grow on Twitch by only streaming. 
all the top streamers have said it before. It's like mm. the best strategy for growing on Twitch is still growing on YouTube, TikTok, or another platform. Uh, my advice to anybody that wants to grow streaming, no, don't doesn't, stream doesn't. a lot. You can't just spark up on stream every day on Twitch and get viewers. That's, that's facts. You can't. Do, you know, you, you gotta, can't. There's so many. There's so many niggas is like that too. I'm not gonna say no names, but you can't just spark up stream and then just expect to have like hella viewers you know what i'm saying you just gotta you gotta put in the marketing time as well overnight bro you gotta study the algorithm on other platforms too to make sure you're getting the most viewership that you can it's so much that goes into this shit, man post your clips and then eventually it's really just commitment too right. gotta commit to it yeah go on TikTok. make more TikToks. do more youtube shorts try to grow outside of the platform because if it hasn't been obvious for the past six years now you're not growing on twitch anymore that's not how it works you have to find discoverability through other places it's weird when streamers think Hey, if I want to be a Twitch streamer, I got to start on Twitch. I got to fire up. I got to sign up, make a Twitch channel, make a name for myself. When it's literally the worst option to become a Twitch streamer is to stream on Twitch first. Mm -hmm. so you have to do something worst else. Option. You have to become streamers first. Like, if you have zero viewers on Twitch, your stream is getting sent to nobody. And the odds of people finding you <laughs> are slim to none. That's why most of the top streamers had some sort of strategy to bring in viewership to get to where they are now. For instance, Ludwig would do challenges on stream and upload those challenges to YouTube so that people from his YouTube would tune into his streams and Queso would take clips from his stream and upload those clips to TikTok so that the people from TikTok would come to his streams. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Like these streamers never just sat there all day and happened to become this big. Is, yo, Cam is really giving y'all the method right now. I'm not going to lie. But it's common sense though. If you've really been paying attention to like what's been going on around like the whole social media world, then you know the fucking method. It's still game though, some people can't even comprehend that shit. Out of nowhere, they utilize different platforms to funnel an audience to Twitch while also most likely working normal jobs. And on top of that, these streamers had to actually be entertaining once people started showing up to their streams. Because if someone sees a clip or a video of you and your stream looks fire, like it just looks amazing, it looks like the funniest thing on earth, then that person shows up to your stream and it's just you sitting in a chair playing a game, not really reading the chat or anything, not really being interactive, you're just kind of mm. boring. That person is most likely never gonna come back that so sucks. that first impression means everything that's, that's nice. why streamers like jinxie are so popular now because his clips are just as funny as his streams now i will say that streaming does get easier now no okay that's why i fuck with jinxie the most but i'm not gonna lie but jinxie right now if i have to rate all the streamers that i watch right now jinxie is like probably second or top because whenever i'm not streaming i'll still fuck around and catch a jinxie stream I'll sit and watch a little bit of it, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga is genuinely funny. Anytime, literally anytime, like literally last night, it was Case, Sketch, and Jinxie. Bro, I literally, I turned on the stream, literally right at the clip when this nigga Jinxie threw his C4 at fucking uh, Sketch. And Sketch talking about some, he's on me, brother! Give me downstairs or double upstairs! He's on me, brother! Last operator stand after you build up an audience because you now know that people are actually going to pop out to your streams no matter what but that still doesn't mean that streaming is easy like if i'm being real not just anyone can entertain numerous people all at once in the same way that not just anyone can be a construction worker or an electrician another thing exactly, that people don't really exactly, realize exactly. about streaming is that you're talking for numerous people while you're live because you're talking for yourself and you're also talking for the chat because in a normal conversation with another person you talk for yourself mm. you say something then the other person says something there's a breathing room in between that but with streaming you're talking in both of those spots yourself and the other person all right he had to say the construction worker i think he was just using it as an example though i think he was just saying it like not anybody can just be a lawyer not anybody can just be a streamer it's just committing to it you know what i'm saying hours of doing that you can get drained now is all that harder than a nine to five no nah, not facts the it's just committed to it bro the negatives when it comes to streaming i mean you're in the comfort of your own home there's not many physical demands well, and you make your own business. hours like it's definitely a blessing but all that being said my overall point is that even though streaming may be easier than a nine to five that doesn't make streaming easy in general like not just anyone can be a streamer to really understand both sides, you would have to have a nine to five at one point, but you would also have to have some sort of success with streaming. Cause streaming to an entire audience and like doing it full time is completely different than streaming to like one or two viewers. And even myself, I've never been a full time streamer at any point in my life, but I've tried to become a full time streamer and I completely failed. So I know that <laughs> streaming. So yeah, I don't think that streaming is harder Man. than a nine to five, but I don't think that streaming is easy. Like I still think streaming is super hard to get to that position that streamers like Hassan or Kai Sanat or maybe even Jinxie are in right now.
people don't want to hear mm. someone complain he's pretty much saying the same position, point than the person complaining but the reality is that everyone on this earth complains no matter how good their life is our brain is a problem solving machine so when there's no problems going on in your brain your brain is going to make problems for you to complain about i mean we do it all the time i'm american and a lot of you guys watching are probably from first world countries no cap no cap no cap fuck what cam's talking about i be doing the same shit it's kind of repetitive. Yeah, he just repeat. He Cam is kind of slick repeating the same point over and over. Bottom line is, streaming isn't as easy as it looks. Not everybody can just sit in a fucking chair or stand around in front of the camera for like three to four hours, maybe even five hours if you're if you really want to try it out. You know, nobody can really do that. Man. You gotta have like some type of like drive pushing you, man. You know, something at least. But not anybody can just turn this shit on. Shit. She, 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 hey, wake up, David. <laughs> yeah, hey, word to my mother. I will crack a nigga skull for playing with my brothers.